For the year 2020, I'm making a video review for every new movie I watch, whether in theaters or at home, and on November 27th, I watched Yellow Submarine. Welcome to my year in movies. This is Talking to Myself. So I feel like there's an easier way to communicate what happens in the movie. So... In the town where I was born Lived a man who sailed to sea And he told us of his life In the land of submarines So we sailed up to the sun Till we found a sea of green and we live beneath the waves in our yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. We all live in. In all seriousness, what happens in Yellow Submarine is you have a guy called Young Fred who lives in Pepperland, and one day Pepperland is beset upon by blue meanies, an evil glove, apple bonkers, a whole mess of just like bad people who don't like the way of like love, knowledge, peace, happiness that Pepperland has going on. And so young Fred, at the behest of the mayor, climbs into a yellow submarine to find the Beatles to come and restore love, joy, music to Pepperland. And it's just kind of a fun, magical romp with a lot of really neat animation. And it's kind of a fun experience. It's neat seeing a movie from 1968, I believe, that isn't a Disney movie, because I'm so used to like that typical Disney look and so I, I'm used to like Jungle Book um, and some of the other movies that came out in the 60s from Disney. And so to see something like this that has a lot of like mixed medium format to it as well, it was really cool. It's also kind of neat to see the Beatles as characters not played by themselves when they very well could. They come in at a cameo at the end. And so the humor that they were still able to weave into these characters and these interpretations of the Beatles without having them be the Beatles themselves was really neat. Sound mixing is a little weird. I'm sure if we had like a surround sound, it, it may have helped a little bit. So like songs would be really loud, but the dialogue would be really quiet. But all of that being said, getting to hear Hey Bulldog in any context is a win for me. That's one of my favorite Beatles songs, even though it's just kind of a throwaway in their book. The music is really good. It doesn't just rely on the song Yellow Submarine, even though that is kind of the basis for the whole story. It incorporates songs like When I'm 64, which is another one of my favorites. Um, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, which is gorgeously represented through just really dazzling, if a little headache inducing imagery and art. I think that's, that is something I appreciate is just like the color and vibrancy and the creativity involved to kind of bring this all to life in a really neat and inventive way. Um, I, I really enjoyed that. As mentioned, this film does mixed media. So they would have like some hand-drawn stuff. They'd have stuff that looked almost like cutouts that would be uh, just kind of cutting back and forth between two motions. So it was very stop motion reminiscent, um, even though it wasn't exactly stop motion. Um, some of the art styles were mixed and I really like that. I don't see that very often, um, but shows like The Amazing World of Gumball or movies like uh, Into the Spider-Verse, I really enjoy when animated movies take a chance and do something a little bit different. They don't limit themselves in terms of animation style. Um, or animation medium. And so getting to see that kind of all come together in this was really neat. And getting to see like a landmark animated film that wasn't Disney was also really cool. Not to knock Disney, I still enjoy Disney movies, but this was a nice break from all of that. And it was a nice capstone on watching all of the Beatles films. Now there are tons of like Beatle adjacent films like uh, The Rudels, All You Need Is Cash, um, I Want to Hold Your Hand. There's a movie coming out uh, in a couple years called Revolver um, in which a girl wants to sleep with George. <laughs> but this was a nice like capstone on the movies that they made. I mean, apart from the documentary that got pushed to next year, um, and apart from Let It Be, which the documentary next year is, I think, honestly gonna supplant. But if you're a fan of animation, and especially a fan of animation history, this is a really neat film to kind of slide into that um, and just see, you know, both how far movies have come and what animation was still capable of even, you know, almost 50 years ago. Really, really cool excursion, really, really neat experience. And just, it's cute, it's a cute movie. Like I said, the humor is top notch um, and it's a really creative uh, enterprise. And the Beatles cameo at the end is a lot of fun, I have to say. <laughs>
This has been My Year in Movies. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.